Hey, everybody, it's Greg Bosson. I am president of QuickBooks Made Easy for Nonprofits, welcoming you to the first quick tip for 2023. Can you believe it's 2023? I know that sounds trite, but seriously, man, it's crazy. Um, we have an election next year, a presidential election. Aren't you excited? Uh, anyway, so um, every month I give out a quick tip helping you out with your Quickity books. And this is January of 2023's quick tip. And this tip is on 1099s. So uh, if you do not know this, you should know, but anybody who is an independent contractor of yours, uh, who you paid $600 or more to for services, not products, but services during the year of 2022, if when you total up how much you paid them, you paid them $600 or more, then you have to give them a 1099. Now, you can get this out of QuickBooks. We're going to show you how to do it with a webinar that's coming up next week, both for people using QuickBooks Desktop as well as QuickBooks Online. But what I want to do here in this tip is, first of all, just give you a couple of pieces of information. These 1099s are due Monday. January the 31st. That means you have to have them sent out, emailed, mailed, handed to the person. They don't have to have them, but you have to get them out the door by January the 31st. And you also have to get the stuff out the door, the copies out the door to the government. Okay, And you can electronically file them or you can mail them uh, to the government. But anyway, it's all happening on January the 31st. Again, it's for anybody that you have paid... $600 or more to for 2022 as long as it's for services and not for products. It's a total for services, not products. Additionally, um, it uh, does not include any money that you paid via credit card. The credit card company will report how much that that vendor got from credit card payments. So you just look at your cash and your checks, ECH, all that kind of stuff, and see what the totals are that you've paid for 2022. I'm going to show you a report uh, to kind of get you started there. And then we have a webinar uh, that's happening that I'll show you how to sign up for that as well. Now, um, if for some reason uh, you decide that you're going to blow it off and you're not going to do this by January the 31st, the penalty is $50 per 1099. And then I think it goes up to $100 after that. So it's an expensive proposition not to do. You can get in trouble for it. So you should definitely do it. So I'm going to go into uh, QuickBooks Desktop, first of all, and then I'll do QuickBooks Online. Because the very first thing I do um, is determine who should get the 1099s. Now, QuickBooks has a 1099 feature, which we're going to show you all about in a webinar that we're doing next week. But I just wanted to show you what I do even before I go into the 1099 wizard. I go to reports, I go to company and financial, and I go to an expenses by vendor summary. I'll click it. I pick the year. So 01, 01, you'd pick 22. I have data for 2025 in this. This is a sample data file, so I'll just act like it's 2025. And then it gives me every vendor and how much I paid them. I can sort this by the total. And then you see this little A to Z? I'm going to click it. So instead of it being in lowest to highest, now it's going to be highest to lowest. So basically, anybody that is above this $600, $600 or more, possibly could get a 1099. Now, I say possibly because... If they are a corporation, then they don't get a 1099, all right? And you should really have these people fill out a form to let you know both what their federal ID number is and then whether or not they are a corporation and should get a 1099 or shouldn't get a 1099 or are they a sole proprietorship or a, um, uh, a limited liability company and maybe should get a 1099. We're going to go over all of this in detail. Here's the W-9 that you can get them to fill out, um, but you don't have much time left uh, because this thing is due January the 31st. So the very first step in the process of getting 1099s, even out of QuickBooks, 
is running this report because this will help you say, okay, it's only these top ones. ADP, I know, is not going to get one. They're a corporation. Kaiser is not going to get one. Neither is Minuteman Press. But I may have to contact Commons Gallery Center and Tui's Catering because if they're not corporations, they should get a 1099. I know the security company um, shouldn't get a 1099 because they're a corporation. So you'd start with this. Now, if you're in the online edition, you can get that report in the online edition as well. So I'm going to go to Reports. And I'm going to go down to, in the standard section, I'm going to go down to where it says expenses, and you'll see an expenses by vendor summary again. I'm going to change this date range, 01, 22. Well, I have data for 2025. You'd put 22, 12, 31, 25. Click. Just like with desktop, I'm going to sort it by descending order. So now the highest ones are at the top, and it goes down from there. So anybody that is, it looks like this mailings are up and up, and uh, mailings are us and up. Those are the ones that might get a 1099. These ones that say non-specified, this means you've downloaded a payment from the bank feed, and you never pointed it to a vendor name. So they didn't, there's no way we can get a 1099. So if you have that stuff that's non-specified, you might want to double-click on that and add vendor names, okay? So once you got that report, you have a general idea of who's supposed to get the 1099 and what the dollar amounts are, uh, then you can go through your wizard. Now in the online edition, uh, we'll go to payroll, and we'll go to contractors, and you'll click prepare 1099s, and it'll walk you through the whole wizard. And this is what we're gonna cover in our course that we're doing next week. Same thing is true for the desktop version. Get to it a little bit differently. But we're going to go to vendors, 1099s, print file 1099s. We click it, and it's going to take you through to a similar wizard. And again, when are we doing that? We're doing that next week. If I go to QuickBooks Made Easy for Nonprofits, uh, and I go to webinars, I did this uh, webinar on purpose uh, next week, because that gives you a couple weeks afterwards to get it all good to go. But um, if you have QuickBooks Desktop, you're going to take the webinar on January the 17th. If you have QuickBooks Online, you'll be taking the webinar on January the 18th. It's an hour and a half long, each one. We're going to show you everything you need to know. We're going to walk you through the entire step, answer all your questions. Um, it's at 2 o'clock each day. Um, again, the 17th is desktop, and it looks like the online is on the 18th. Um, and this uh, uh, webinar is a paid webinar. It's $99. However, because you're still listening to me, I'm going to give you $30 off. This FB30 off, FB30 off. If you remember that, when you go to the checkout, when you go to the checkout, get tickets, um, and uh, well, where's the checkout? <laughs> ah, there we go. One. There we go. And uh, there we go. If you put the coupon right there, FB30 off, you'll get $30 off, and it'll only be 69 bucks. okay? So um, I think that's it. I think that's all I need to say about this. Uh, so uh, don't forget to sign up and uh, we'll see you next week. Take care.